welcome to the Colin Motor Speedway for the Aflac Cup Series Season 6 Aflac 200, the series opener in Colin, Michigan. As the new season comes along, we have new drivers and new cars, along with Kurt Busch, Kevin Harvick, Ryan Newman in the 31, and now Kurt Busch and Kevin Harvick both moved the Stuart, Hot Ra Stuart Haas Racing this year in the 41 and in the 4. Now we got last year's champion. Starts inside the top 10. Kyle Busch looking to win the first race of the year and keep his hot streak going. The top rookies of ACS 6, Kyle Larson, Austin Dillon, and Jimmy. And now for the command. Drivers, start your engines. The cars roll off here. At Colin for 10 laps. Starting lineup for the Aflac 200. In row 1, we have Kurt Busch and Casey Kane. Row 2, Joey Logano and Kevin Harvick. Row 3, Jimmy Johnson and Ryan Newman. Row 4, Dub Biff and the man from Minnesota A, Carter Adelman in the new number 58. Row 5, Kyle Busch and Carl Edwards. Row 6, Martin Truex Jr. and Jamie McMurray. Row 7, Bryce Harvey in the Xbox Chevrolet and the Dollar General Toyota, Matt Kenseth. Row 8, Daytona 500 champ Dale Jr. and the rookie Kyle Larson. Row 9, another rookie Austin Dillon alongside Jimmy in the Napa Chevy. Row 10, Jeff Gordon and Clint Boyer. Those two are best buddies. Row 11, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. and Tony Smoke Stewart. In row 12, we have Gino Harvey and Eric Amarola. Row 13, Brad Kozolowski and Danica Patrick, Brad's last year's Aflac 200 champion. Row 14, Denny Hamlin and Justin Allgaier. Row 15, Brian Vickers and David Reagan. Row 16, Marcus Ambrose and A.J. Allmendinger. And in, in row 17, Paul Menard and Trevor Bain. Now, it's time for Season 6 to get underway. Green flag for Season 6! Looks like Casey Kane will lead the first lap here in the Aflac 200 over Joey Logano, who runs shortly behind in second. Kevin Harvick taking over the third position from his teammate, Kurt Busch. Kane leads another lap on lap 3 of 10. They truck through the field through turn 3 of 4. Oh, Biffle! And Harvick made contact. Harvick in the wall. It looks like he's got a tire up. Smoke blowing out from that, that right front tire. And then he's going to get in the grass and he spins out. Oh, no. Kevin Harvick has some nose damage as he cuts a tire and spins. Yeah, he definitely got hit by Biffle here. Let's watch. Yeah. Gets put in the wall by Greg Biffle. And Harvick, he's definitely not happy. Guns out of the pits, and he's letting Biffle know he's not very happy with him. Almarola getting uh, some repairs. And now we're going to go back to the action. And green flag on lap 5 of 10. Casey Kane and Joey Logano. Joey not going to let him get away. Strong run down the back, back stretch for Joey Logano. Out of four he comes. Joey leads the lap. Kane's going to get under him and turn one and two. Joey's going to go with a crossover. Adam and making it three wide. It doesn't work. Logano goes around and into Jimmy Johnson. The six-time champ gets some damage from the current race leader, Joey Logano. Watch this as Joey's in the lead. And they make it three wide on him. And then, oh, Jimmy with a hard impact. But he gets repaired, and he's back out on the racetrack. Four to go. Adelman and Kane going to lead him down into one and two. Kurt Busch with the power move. He gets into third place. Three wide throughout the field. Reagan going by Almendinger. Here comes Adelman going back for the lead. Carter strong into the lead. And then Kurt Busch pushes Kane into the lead. It's going back and forth here at the Aflac 200. Adelman just two laps to go. He's going to fly away from the field. As Kenseth roars into second place. One lap to go. Kenseth's got a run on him. They make contact. And there goes Casey Kane. Kane's in the clear. Casey Kane's going to round turn four and win the Aflac 200. Kurt Busch in second. Kenseth, Adelman, and Truex round out the top five. What a finish. What a race. These boys and girl never disappoint. And the season six is already off to a hot start as Casey Kane makes a last lap pass to win the Aflac 200. Congrats to Casey and Team Hendrick. Let's check out an instant replay of Kenseth's great run into turn one on Adelman. Just comes in a little too hot. They make contact. Adelman up into the wall. Kenseth wiggling down the backstretch. Kurt Busch takes advantage as well and gets himself a second place finish. 
And then you're finishing results. Casey Kane finishes first today. Second, Kurt Busch. Third, heartbreak for Matt Kenseth. And both third and fourth, both heartbreak for Kenseth and Adelman as they had a chance to win it. And they make contact in turn one and two. Fifth today was Martin Truex Jr. What a start for him. That's a great start for Truex. He needed that. WF is sixth. Daytona 500 champ Dale Jr. in seventh. Eighth, Kyle Larson. Great top ten for the rookie. That's a great job by Kyle Larson today. Ninth, Carl Edwards. And then the <laughs> season champ of a year ago finishes tenth. That's incredible. Eleventh, Bryce Harvey in the Xbox Chevy. It looks pretty sweet. Twelfth, the Cheerios man, Austin Dillon, the rookie, competing with Kyle Larson for Rookie of the Year and Jimmy and Justin Allgaier and I think a couple others. Uh, 13th was Newman in the, in the new ride. 24th, Jeff Gordon. Tw tw or, 24th. 14th, Jeff Gordon. 15th, oh my gosh, Gino Harvey. 16th, Jimmy, <laughs> the rookie. 17th, Jamie McMurray. 18th today was Tony Stewart. That's a little shocking for me. I think Stewart could have done better than that. 19th, Marcus Ambrose, as Stewart was the last one to win here at the Palomino 200. 20th today was Danica Patrick. Good job, girl. 21st, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Finishing 22nd was Justin Allgaier. Not bad for him. He passed a few cars today. Did a good job. 23rd is uh, Denny Hamlin. And 24th, Brian Vickers. Hamlin never seems to do good in the Affleck 200. Uh, 25th was Brad Kozlowski. Besides last year, I guess. He started in the poll, I think. 26th, uh, Clip Boyer. And if I get anybody's name wrong, I think I wrote them down wrong. A couple just comment and tell me to change them. Uh, David Reagan, 28th. 29th today was A.J. Allmendinger, 30th, Jimmy Johnson. Come on, six-time champ. He got contact from Joey, though, so he didn't. it wasn't all his fault. 31st, Paul Menard. 32nd, Trevor Bain. 33rd today was Eric Almarola. And rounding out the field in 34th was Joey Logano, the only one to go to the garage area today. That's got to be a record for the Athletic Cup Series. Well, this concludes the Athletic 200. Next week, we're in Las Vegas for the Wildberry Skittles 200. And this is JG24, JM26, signing out. Hope you enjoyed.